Hey guys, welcome to the Nate Take. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be giving you another tip for what you can do if your car is low on power. So the previous video that I made for you guys was showing you how to check your air filter and your air intake area. Just make sure that's not clogged, because that can definitely restrict airflow to your engine and cause low engine power. Well, today we're going to look at the mass airflow sensor. What the mass airflow sensor does is it measures about how much air is going into the engine so that the engine can then put the right amount of gas in order to mix it correctly for a combustion. So if your mass airflow sensor is dirty, damaged, needs replacing, whatever the issue may be, can definitely throw off that air fuel mixture and therefore cause issues for your car. Now the issues could range in severity. It could either be just low power, it could mean your car won't start, it could mean all sorts of different things. Definitely kick on and check engine light. So again, like I said in the previous video, it's nice to start at the, at the easy, cheap side and then work your way down the line to see what the issue is. So, let's get into it. All right, so pop the hood and then we're gonna look at the engine here. Now, this is on my 2006 Ford F-150. Good way to find your mass airflow sensor is to follow your air intake, right? So this here's the air intake that we looked at last time. It goes in here, your air filter's right here, and then, so the air comes up, goes through the air filter, and then down into the engine right here. Now, your air filter, look just past the air filter, you should see a sensor in the, in the air intake that goes down into the engine. You should see a sensor shortly after the air filter has wires coming out of it we have right here. So this here is my mass airflow sensor. If you can't find it, you can do a Google search. Pretty easy to find on Google. They have pretty much everything on there. Now on my 2009 Ford Fusion, this here is the air box where the air filter is. We follow it back to the engine here. Hey, look at this right here. There's a little sensor right after the air filter. This is the mass airflow sensor on the 2009 Ford Fusion. Okay, so here's our mass airflow sensor. In order to remove it off the vehicle, pull back on this red pin. That will release the connector, wiggle it off gently, you don't want to break it. And then now we have two screws, one here and one here. Both of them are going to be Quartz bit, such as this right here. The size will vary depending on your vehicle, but that right there is probably what it's going to look like. This is a very beat up bit, it's a poor example, but star bit, Torx bit, there's a link down in the description where you can get a good set. Now, I recommend doing it by hand, but I've done this before, so I have an idea what I'm doing. Pull the screws. And very carefully slide it right out. Now these screws aren't captive, so make sure you put them somewhere where you're not going to lose them. They are important. All right, so this here is what your mass airflow sensor is gonna look like, something like this. I don't know if you'll be able to see down in there or not. But uh, right inside that little hole, there's some electronics. They're very delicate, they're very sensitive. You don't wanna stick anything in there to try to clean it. Don't wanna do any of that. There's specific cleaners you have to use for this mass airflow sensor. This so right here is what you want. CRC mass airflow sensor cleaner. This here is specifically designed for mass airflow sensors. Remember I said there was sensitive electronics in it? This here is designed for those sensitive electronics. It won't damage them. Typically, this will come in a kit with throttle body and air intake cleaner. You don't want to use this on the mass airflow sensor, only this one. So make sure you use the right one. We'll cover this one in another video later. Okay, so in order to actually clean it, what you want to do, off the vehicle, obviously, take your mass airflow cleaner. If it's not a brand new can, I just give it a little spritz off to the side, not onto anything, not onto the paint of the vehicle, point it away from that. Uh, just to make sure there's no gunk inside the actual tube of the can. Now what you want to do is you want to spray inside of here. Don't put the tip of the straw inside there. You don't want to damage that stuff or you'll have to replace it. 10 to 15 sprays directly into there. Just kind of get it around. But do not stick the straw inside. So that there's 15 sprays. Give it a little shake. It's going to evaporate here pretty quick. Uh, you want to make sure it's fully dried out and evaporated before you start the truck. That's what the instructions say on the back of the can. We like to follow instructions typically. The other thing you can do is you can spray on the outside here. Make sure there's no dirt. That'll eventually work its way back in there. And you'll be set. 
Now is also a good time to get some contact cleaner and spray in here if those are dirty. Mine, they're not, so I'm not going to do that. So while you have this out, another thing you want to check is you want to check the gasket. There's going to be a gasket right here because it has to seal up against the airbox because at this point, the engine is measuring how much air is going into it. So if, if there's an air leak, it's going to throw off the reading. It's going to throw off your proportions. Your engine's not going to run right. So while you have this off, check to make sure that gasket's intact. If it's damaged for whatever reason, replace the mass airflow sensor. All right, so now we're going to put it back in. As we put it in, we want to make sure we don't knock it around and bump a bunch of stuff. So just be careful. All right, so to reinstall this, what we're going to do is first we're going to check this surface where the gasket seals, make sure there's not dirt in there that's going to compromise the seal. And then we're going to very carefully place it back in in the correct orientation. Again, this little hole here where the elements are, that should face towards the where the air is coming from. So it's coming up out of here, it should face this direction. It'll only fit one way. Very carefully without banging it around. Slide it in. Take our screws. Put them back in. Don't want to get it too tight. Just a little bit right there, just to make sure it's seated well. You can see when it draws up against the surface of the air intake. There we go. Installed back in the vehicle. Now all we have to do is take our electrical connector here, go ahead and inspect it, make sure there's no dirt in there. Put it back on, and then make sure you do the locking tab, and there you go. All right, guys, so that's how you clean your mass airflow sensor on your vehicle. Now, of course, exact locations and everything are going to be different based on the vehicle you have, but that's basically how you do it. That's the basic process. Fairly easy to find. Like I said, follow the air intake. past the filter. It should be one of the first sensors there that has wires coming off of it. Um, I do want to stress again, make sure you only use mass airflow sensor cleaner unless you just want to replace it, which at that point, why use this, just go buy the new part. So use the right stuff, do it correctly, you can clean it, not have to replace it, and it will make accurate readings. Accurate readings means the engine will run better, give you better fuel mileage, better engine performance, better power, all that fun stuff. So just make sure you do it right. If you follow the super simple instructions I outlined in this video, you can do it yourself, no problem. It's a really easy job, almost as easy as your air filter. Just requires that screwdriver in order to pull the mass airflow sensor actually out. Uh, some vehicles, especially older ones, they're not as easily accessible, um, and some of them are even not even possible to clean based on how they're built. So just uh, keep that in mind if you have an older vehicle. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you found this video helpful, please do share it with your friends. Maybe share it with somebody who just got their first vehicle and is learning car basic car maintenance. This is something everyone can do everyone should know how to do. So do share it with your friends. I really appreciate that. Get the word out and help people out. That's what this whole channel is about. And you guys can help me do it. So that's all I have for you today. Until next time, this is Nathan signing off.